Russia prepares for war against Armenia. Kremlin declares that West turned Yerevan into Ukraine. Armenia deserves to live in peace and under no circumstances should it become an object of trade in the hands of unscrupulous Western politicians. Maria Zakharova, the official representative of the Russian Foreign Ministry, said this while commenting on the reproachment between Yerevan and the European Union. She said that they made similar promises to Ukraine and then abandoned it. This country deserves to live in peace and under no circumstances should it become an object of trade in the hands of unscrupulous Western politicians. Russia sincerely wishes peace to Armenia. We wish this state peace, stability and prosperity both from the point of view of love for this country and people and the point of view of pragmatism because the prosperity of the region as a whole depends on it. Unfortunately, the West played with Ukraine, then broke it, threw Kyiv into the corner like a toy without arms and legs, and started looking for a new victim. Let Armenia not be this new victim who is deceived and tempted, she added. Zakharova noted that some Armenian figures see the increased intention of the EU as a solution to the problem. You need to look deeper. It is also characteristic of the white man who shows the mirror and exchanges with it the most valuable things owned by the natives. Unfortunately, several political figures of Armenia do not think that the country has become a tool and entertainment of Western geopolitics. Armen Grigorian, secretary of the Security Council of Armenia, said that Armenia has sent an official letter to Russia regarding the withdrawal of Russian border guards from Zavartnots airport. The government's position is that Armenian border troops should serve at the airport. He said, but press secretary of Russian President Dmitry Peskov noted that Russia is not aware of any decision by Yerevan regarding the withdrawal of Russian border guards from Zvartnots airport. As for the border guards in Zvartnots, as far as we understand, there has been no decision on this issue. No one communicated these decisions to us through official channels. We were in all directions within the framework of the CIS and EU structures at the level of the bilateral relations, he said. It should be recalled that Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said that the presence of Russian border guards at Zvardnots airport is not regulated by any agreement. After that, the Armenians who staged an action chanted insulting slogans against Russia and demanded that the Russian border guards reject Zvardnots. Secret facility with Russian officers and airbase hit in Crimea, three Ka-52 helicopters were damaged. A Russian army airbase near Simferopol, as well as a secret facility in Sevastopol, came under attack during yesterday's explosions in the occupied Crimea. This was reported by Dialogue Media Outlet with a reference to Russian telegram channels. At least three Ka-52 attack helicopters are reported to be damaged and information about the condition of one fighter jet is also being verified. As for the secret location, the message does not specify what exactly it is about, but it does say that there may be serious casualties among Russian officers. Meanwhile, in the Saki region, air defense radars came under attack. One of them was disabled. Russian media claim that the Ukrainian arms attack on military targets in the Crimea was carried out using missiles and drones. There has been no information about casualties by now. The Rushi oil depot is located a kilometer from the damaged building. Militani media outlet says that a powerful explosion occurred at the Vadisk military airbase in Crimea. According to some sources, combat aircraft were at the airfield at the time of the explosion. There is a high probability that the unit's aviation personnel suffered losses. The 37th Composite Aviation Regiment of Russian Aerospace Forces is stationed at Vadisk military airbase, equipped with Su-24M frontline bombers and Su-25 attack aircraft. Prior to the explosion at the airfield, local media reported an air raid alert and the operation of the Russian air defense on the peninsula. In addition, according to them, all 12 aircraft flying toward the peninsula were intercepted. They note that the strike was carried out by a combined launch of ADM-160, MALD decoy missiles and French-British Storm Shadow cruise missiles. According to their information, a few hours before the strike, an US RQ-4B Global Hawk remotely piloted surveillance aircraft and a P-8A Poseidon patrol aircraft 
flew near the peninsula. Additionally, there were reports of explosions at the Saki military airfield, where Russian aircraft are also based. The Saki military airbase has been repeatedly attacked by Ukrainian forces, as it is a strategically important Russian facility where, in addition to aviation, there is a training facility for operators of Iranian Mujahar UAVs. Putin moving nukes through Russia for impending attack? In a national address, Russian President Vladimir Putin has threatened to use nuclear weapons if NATO countries were to join a ground offensive in Ukraine. The suggestion of adding NATO forces to Ukraine was made by France's President Emmanuel Macron, but quickly dismissed by the US, UK and Germany. However, it comes amid calls to show more strength against the Kremlin from Baltic leaders as Russian troops ramp up military operations along land and sea borders in the region. Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania are now bolstering their civilian armies and have urged other NATO countries, including the UK, to do the same. At such a time, on February the 27th, a self-proclaimed conspiracy theorist named Liz Churchill posted a video on X that appeared to show Russian intercontinental ballistic missile launchers being moved through the streets at night. Churchill's post read, President Putin is moving nuclear weapons. Russia isn't playing games. To NATO and the CIA, you cannot win this. Please surrender. The video was also widely shared by other users on X. Sergei Radchenko, a Russian-born British historian, suggested Putin's quick lurch to nuclear threats suggested Macron had touched a raw nerve. I thought it was interesting that Putin's speech included a direct reference to Macron's recent remark that the use of NATO's troops in Ukraine should not be excluded, he said. His apoplectic reaction to threatening nuclear war suggests that Macron touched a raw nerve. Putin later suggested that the West was being cavalier about the threat Russia poses. The West is trying to drag us into an arms race. They are trying to wear us down to repeat the trick they succeeded in pulling off with the Soviet Union in the 1980s, Putin said. <laughs>